Hey guys, what's up? This is gonna be the first in hopefully a long series of Q&A videos. So these are gonna be Q&As done from the podcast or Instagram, Facebook, anywhere you can contact me. So whereas the podcast is a long form, multiple topic video, this is short, condensed, five minute little segments, one topic segments. So hope you guys enjoy these. I'm looking to do many more in the future. So the first, one we're doing today comes from Christian on Instagram. So he was asking me, what do you do to stay away from injuries? How do you prevent injuries in jiu-jitsu? Um, or really, in my opinion, what this question should be is how do you minimize injuries? Because I don't actually think, if you're training hard, I don't think you can prevent injuries. They're going to happen uh, over a long enough period of time. It's part of training a contact sport. That said, there's plenty of things you can do to minimize them and to train around them. So we'll start off with the minimizing part. So the minimizing part of that, big thing you can do, there's a couple things. One, roll, don't roll with brand new white belts um, and people you don't trust. So what I mean by that is maybe you're a little older, maybe you're weak, you know, you're just not all that physically strong, um, you're really immobile, things like that you're probably not the person to go roll with the spazzy 200 pound brand new white belt. Um, leave that to the people who maybe are in a little bit better physical condition, uh, maybe a little more experienced. It'll prevent a lot of injury. Second thing you can do is if you do roll with those people, or even if you're only rolling with more experienced or more trusted partners, try to always protect yourself. Always keep in mind the positions you are in, and the potential for danger in those positions. So a good example is if you're playing an open guard and you're throwing your leg over, uh, over their shoulder to try and retain guard, your knee, your LCL, your MCL, all, all your ligaments here are going to be strained, especially your LCL pushing at that lateral angle. So keep that in mind. I actually recently hurt my LCL doing exactly that rolling um, with a purple belt a month and a bit ago, entirely my fault. I didn't recognize the dangers of the position and I went too far into it and uh, I strained my LCL and I had to then take a few weeks where I was really not rolling. I might roll, I might've rolled a little bit, but it was all very controlled with tr partners I trusted and I was really conscious of the movement where I was at. I'd tap if my knee was in danger. Um, like I couldn't sit down in closed guard. So if I was in closed guard, a lot of the times I would tap or you know, just try not to be in there in the first place um, and let your partners know, you know, it's a big thing for me that I tell my partners and my partners tell me, Hey, my shoulder's a little bum. My knees, you know, a little messed up right now. You know, maybe my, my wrist is sore. Um, you know, I'll tap if it gets bad, but just, you know, don't go ripping Kimuras on my left shoulder. If my left shoulder's bum, right. Um, I always tell our guys, if, you know, if I have something hurting that, they're free to go for it. I'm just going to tap really early um, and just be expecting that. And obviously just don't crank anything. Not that you should in the gym anyways, but just especially if you're rehabbing an injury. So there's that. Um, strength and conditioning. That's a big, big, big one. Um, it's something I'm recently coming around to myself is just getting in the weight room and just lifting some weights. It doesn't have to be anything super complicated. Just some push-ups, some you know, deadlift, squat, bench, uh, some shoulder workout stuff to really make your body strong, strong muscles, strong tendons are going to be much less likely to get hurt than if you're weak muscle, weak tendons, you're inflexible. Uh, and on the flexibility part, stretching. I've recently started stretching and by recently, I mean in the last like eight months, I've recently started stretching after every class um, for at least a few minutes and just stretching everything out, warming down, it's made a huge difference. Um, it's night and day for me anyways. So that is injury, injury prevention. Now, on training with injuries, because I think what happens a lot of the time is people don't know injury versus hurt versus sore. Okay, then they're like, oh, my shoulder's really sore, but it's not hurt. Maybe you were just doing a shoulder workout and the muscle's sore. Um, you shouldn't obviously overextend anything and overwork anything. But you should understand, oh, it's just a little sore. I'll just be light on it today and we'll roll in no problem. Um, you know, maybe you hurt your rotator cuff a little bit. It's not injured, 
it'll be good in a week, but it's, you know, you can feel it's hurt. Uh, it's not just muscle soreness, it's actual joint, you know, you strained the joint a little bit, like I did with my knee, uh, with my LCL. That's one of those things where you say, okay, I'm only rolling with people that I trust. They're going to know my rotator cuff is hurt. Um, and I'm going to be light on it. And I'm going to tap if I end up, you know, maybe I'm in side control on my side or in half guard on my side. Am I crunching my shoulder a little bit? Maybe I'll take, I'll tap from there, or I'll just, I'll give up the pass from there uh, to prevent the injury. And then for things like wrist injuries or elbow injuries, um, what you can do a lot of the time and what I've done in the past, especially if you're doing gi jujitsu, you can just stick your hand in your belt and just roll one handed. It's a good challenge for yourself. Um, I do it very rarely, but I do it from, you know, once in a while, just as a fun challenge with white belts, I'll just try and only use one hand, um, to see what I can do there. So that's another really good thing you can do is just stick your hand in your belt. Uh, if you've got a wrist injury, an elbow injury, um, I know I had a pretty bad elbow injury as a white belt. And for about a month, I just had my hand in my belt rolling one handed. I got crushed, but I was still rolling. And the last one is injuries. Okay. Injuries is what I define as something, you know, like if you tear your ACL or your MCL, um, you tear your rotator cuff, you slip a disc in your back, um, you sprain or break your ankle, things like that. Things that may or may not require surgery. Those are things that you should take time off for. You know, um, I've taken time off for various things. Like I, I had a minor sprain in my ankle a couple years ago and I took about two weeks off of jujitsu, let it heal, um, just completely stayed off of it and then rehabbed it afterwards. And that's something, obviously you consult with your doctor, right? And that's something where, you know, I always trust my doctor on that. And, you know, if I need to take time off, I need to take time off. But uh, most things you can at least train around a little bit. So I hope this helps, guys. I'm going to do a lot of these in the future. Um, thank you for watching. If you, want to, if you want your question answered, Instagram, comments on this YouTube video, uh, Facebook, on the, comments on the podcast. Anything like that, I will absolutely uh, try my best to get to. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.